another round powered by Standic Bank. Unfortunately, we're beginning it off on a very sad note, man. Totally, totally ruined my February. I know exactly what you're talking about. <sighs> like, how, how does Feb start like that? Like, that's, we're happy that we're finally out of January and January's madness. Then, you, like, a legend like that goes, <sighs> anyway. Mose Radio. You know what? I, I've no, actually, I didn't, see, I didn't realize how bad it was until, like, like, you know, maybe 40 minutes after you've heard the news, you've seen it everywhere, you've made a few, a few phone calls, and it still doesn't hit you until, like, three hours later. I think, I think I even saw you that day. I asked him, but boss, is this I couldn't believe it. It took me a while to say, it took a while. I woke up, in. I woke up it, and I looked, I saw, of course, social media, and it was not sinking in my head. That it has actually that happened. That it has actually happened. Together, I'm like, no, this is wrong. This is, and then I see more, other, more people talking about it. More, anyway. And I've, I've actually asked uh, Ragadi to come. For what? To, I want to talk to him about what is going on with these young musicians. I haven't seen Ragadi in a while. Yeah, yeah, you're going to see him. He's on his way. I called him. He's coming down. He's right? coming, yeah. But I wanted you know him what? to I wanted him to talk to talk Before. to us about these young kids and find what what exactly is going on with them. Before we even uh, start the show, mm. I think we should honestly have a moment of silence for Mozi Radio. How long is the moment? Five seconds. Okay, I agree with you. Just five seconds. Wait, what, what language are you counting in? In Zumeka? He's <laughs> getting falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> to Mose, man. To Mose. So, boss, uh-huh. Yeah. Otherwise, things that. have been happening yeah. around our neighbors, mm -hmm. around you, Africa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, we have mm -hmm. two presidents in Kenya. How do you understand? <laughs> One signed in, the other also signed in. They went and swore in. <laughs> <laughs> But the Kenyans, the Kenyans, they, but you know, for them, they learn from us. But I don't understand this. <laughs> yes, they learn from us. Help me understand. You have we to understand that Raila waits. Oh, that's best, Jerry. Even that one we are going to do. Wait. If, if I don't win, we are going to do. But Raila has balls <laughs> of steel. Of steel. Because even our guy, yes, our guy, best, also has balls. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Balls here and balls, balls here. Balls there. Now, Raila decides to do it. But, but the funny thing is, he did it. But his uh, running mate, yeah, never to show Let up. Let me tell you, I've never laughed like that in my life. The memes that came out when that guy didn't show up, Kalonzo. Mm. Ay, 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 ay. Kalonzo, they finished me, those Kenyans. That I, the first one I saw that started the whole thing yeah, yeah. is Kalonzo Musioka misunderstood the concept of running mate. Mm. Of vice president? No, running mate. A running mate. He ran. He didn't come. <laughs> Come back. Show up. Because <laughs> <laughs> you said I'm my title, running mate. Hey, Come back again. Let me show you running. Off is off. <laughs> That's the first one. Keep protesting. The second one uh. was uh, Alonzo Musioka. Man's not off. <laughs> I die. That is not good. I said man's not hot. Oh, yeah. But, but man's, man's not, not off. off. Then they did the meme with him, the thing like this. It's just ridiculous. The guy didn't show up. But you know what? He did say, by the way, because I was listening to him on radio, mm. um, I just listened listen to him on BBC. Mm. You know, guy said when he was about to go, they had the night before a grenade attack or an attack on his house or something like that. And as such, they could not leave because of security reasons. That's the story he gave you? That's the story he gave. That's a liar and a thief. No, no, no. That's what he you. said. No, that's what he said. Come that they were attacked uh, with AK-47s. I listened to this thing on BBC Chief. Let me show you a video mm. of the Attorney General mm. of Kenya mm. after Raila had finished swearing in. Mm. And uh, the guy said, you guys need to understand one thing. Mm. All these people, I don't know if I can even play for you this whole thing. Mm. A swearing in of any person, any person. Listen to that story very not clearly. Not lawfully declared to have won an election by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. Who is this? And Attorney the General. swearing in that is not conducted by the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya mm -hmm. is a process wholly unanticipated 
by the constitution and is null and void and illegal ab initio. Okay. But I don't need the attorney general to tell me this. No, listen, I know. listen, listen, it gets better. Clear. Yeah, I hope I've made that clear. Father, and in addition, the criminal law of the Republic of Kenya in Article 40 of the Penal Code mm -hmm. provides or stipulates that that sort of is process is guy. high treason. It's high treason. High treason. Yes, it is high treason in respect of the person so involved and any other person facilitating that process. What is the what is the punishment for high treason? Answer oh. me. Uh, it is death. Ah! <laughs> hey! My death. friend. Death. Death in the constitution. So Calonzo, smarter than everybody, did not show up. Him, he said, Please it. note, he said, the person swearing in and anybody who facilitated. So that idiot who swore him in, the guy who put it, divided the paper, you guys were in the picture. If he was running, so you were in the How about people who showed up for the swearing in? That's what you're just. The citizens of Kenya. Nothing. You're just watching. Did you facilitate I'm a facilitator in any way? by being there? No. <laughs> Boss, if you go there and shag a cow and okay. they watch you, I'm, All the right, one, fine, I'm a facilitator. Fine, fine, fine. How about the people of Uhuru Ground? The people who allowed them to have the thing there? Them, yes, they're facilitating, yes. How about the police who did not interrupt? No, no, no. They're facilitating. Uhuru Grounds, Uhuru Grounds. It's a public area. It's a public area. Okay? You can do whatever you want at Uhuru Grounds. You can go and break the law at Uhuru Grounds. They will not catch the people of Uhuru Grounds. They'll catch you as breaking the law. If you go and uh, kill someone in Uhuru Grounds, they'll kill, get you the killer. So people who brought PA systems, they're facilitating. Yeah, yeah. So all of those people are going to die. <laughs> Again, no, the, no, 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 no. the charge is treason. Which is punishable by? Death. So, Raila, dead. To be. If they press charges. If, when, mm. when they press charges, mm. people who, all the people who gave, yeah, who, yeah, who yeah. gave lights yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah. PA systems and music. No, no, no. You see, PA system, boss, me, you pay me for a PA system. I'm I don't facilitating know what you want to use it for. I am facilitating Again, yourself. again, guy, if you say, me, I want to pay you for a PA system. Okay? You're, that's your business. I go, I say, how much do you have? My, my charge is two million. Two million here. You go, you put loud music as you slaughter a guy. Now you're going to come and do me for what? Leave me, boss. <laughs> it is those guys and they're rubbish. Forget everybody else in the conundrum. Ah, they can't, they can't. If they, my friend, if Raila meets death, <laughs> as in Raila comes and death comes like this, <laughs> do you understand the anarchy, if the they, riot if, if they in even, Kenya? If they even arrest him, forget death. Oh, even they just can't, arrest they him. They can't, they can't, they can't. But if please it, note, they went and picked up everybody else. They didn't touch Raila. Already they have picked up the guys. But, the the but, guy who was there with the judge thing, yeah, that guy has been corrected. Uh, the other guy's man was signing, Miguna Miguna, correct, corrected. Like that. But, but Raila, nobody has touched Nobody Raila. touched Raila like this. Because they know. They know. They know this one, we just want peace. But just want to let you know that you broke the law. So have it on the top of your head that you do anything stupid. We are coming for you all guns blazing. But I, I must insist also, for, for, for the Kenyan government to shut down uh, the media houses like Citizen and... Uh, NTV and uh, all these other stations. We can argue about that till the cows come home. It's an issue of, as the person in charge, you have to make a decision. You are going to argue about this till you die, but in my honest opinion, it's okay. As a state, you do what you have to do to but protect you know, the citizens. But you know how he proclaimed himself? Hmm. I am the president of the people. Of the Republic of Kenya. Ah, he just said, I'm a president of the people. That's it. That's all he said. So which people? That's the issue. Aha. So that makes a the president of which people also? No, who is the president of the people of the Republic of Kenya? Right as the president of the people. The people, full stop. The people could be the people of his house, the people of his tribe, the people of his village. <laughs> people could be people of anybody. The people of Kibera, where he was a former MP. People could be, it's, it's an open-ended statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But right, Uhuru is president of the people of the Republic of Kenya. All of you, I'm your president. You, I'm president of the people. Even my concern is I'm a president of the people. In my home, I'm the president of their people. So basically, the border leave from BCJ and Uganda, what happened? Yeah. Yeah. And I think he apparently said it in his statement. That by shutting off media, Kenya has gone, has stooped to the level of Uganda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. And, and for that, I'm not his friend. As Why? we are fine. <laughs> leave us. As we are but okay. Africa, Africa is a special, special place. Mm. These things going on of double swearing in. Mm -hmm. No wonder. Mm. No wonder Donald Trump called us a shithole. One of shit the shithole holes. nations. Yes. Africa is a shithole. Look at this nonsense. Look at this fiasco. I learned a new word. Mm. Fiasco. <laughs> Look at this fiasco.
But we actually did uh, someone told me, and I don't know how true it is, yeah. that the president of Uganda agreed with, with Donald. Yes, he did. He did, eh? Now let's not forget Donald Trump when he said he was coming when he, he said he would go after certain uh, people uh. in Africa. Mm. Not to go after them, but he, he gave his reasons as uh. to what his thoughts. And he threw Museveni under the bus as if with as Mugabe. If, with Mugabe. Now our Excellency goes mm. and says, May I agree with what Trump, Trump is saying? Mm. Because he speaks the truth. Mm. And I like him. Politician 101. Gamba, gamba. <laughs> Meanwhile, other African leaders, are, most of them, are quarreling. Are quarreling. We're a shithole? How dare you apologize? Trump to apologize. Museveni the meanwhile is like, kudos. Yeah, you're my guy. You're my guy. How did he say it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't listen to it. But I can imagine hey. that that is correct. We are Africa, we are foolish. We are, we are, we are. The word he used, that one. I, there's, no, there's no way I'm saving no shit for. <laughs> there's no way in hell he knows that word. What it means and what hey, it's about. Hey, well that, yeah, that word he used. We are, we are the one. But are we really a shit whole country? Are we a shit whole continent? And who is to blame for it? Is it the leaders or the people being led? Uh, I, it depends on who you ask, I guess. Personally, I, guess. I think it's, it's a bit of both. But then again, with the Pearl of Africa and the River Nile and the beautiful sunsets and the uh, uh, endless amounts of, uh, of natural beauty and let's not forget minerals mm. and we're a shithole country, a shithole continent. N nation. Nation. But then again, listen, you have to understand one thing. First of all, that is Trump's perception. That's what Trump thinks. Okay? Trump's perception should not mean take it for the gospel truth. You can decide to say, Marcus is a, a gay. Are you? No. But then again, that will be your perception, your analysis. So if you go out and make a, public, a press conference about it, so all of a sudden that Gaetano is the gospel yeah, truth? Yeah, I can say that. But when the leader of the free nation, yeah, but that leader, the leader of one of the most powerful countries, if not the most powerful country in the says it, that's yeah. different from me saying Marcus is a gay. Yeah, but who is that guy? He's the president of the United States. He's Donald Trump. He, he, and he is the president of the United States. Fair enough. The title should not take away from the person. Let's not mix the two. The president, yes, said it. The person is still an idiot. Yes, he's the president, but he's still an idiot. So I'm not going to waste my time trying to justify the statements of an idiot. No, I'm so sorry. So you're calling the president of the United States an idiot? He knows it. Do you realize you'll never get a visa? Do you realize by saying things like that, you will never get access to the free world? Of hey, United it's United. okay, I'll stay in my matoke. It's very fine, by the way. I'll stay on another round, we are fine. <laughs> For the record, they already have a visa. Yeah, maybe, they'll, think, maybe they'll cancel it tomorrow. I don't, think, <laughs> I don't think Donald Trump is stupid. You want to go to America? I eh? think he's a wonderful <laughs> man. I love him. You're being like Museveni. We are shit holes. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'll stay on my ground nuts. You refuse to give me a visa. It's okay. But then again, that doesn't mean I have a problem with America. I'll have a problem with the president. That means I hate the country. Yeah, so it's okay. You, I don't need to like everybody. Uh, 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 uh. I don't even know the presidents of half the countries I've visited. Mm, mm. Doesn't make them bad countries. Mm, Doesn't make mm. them bad leaders either. Mm, mm. I just don't think he's intelligent. So what? We move on. I guess. Yeah. I guess there I are guess. many people who don't like Museveni, but they're here. But I mean, and look, we give them visas. Do you think Trump will come to Uganda since Museveni likes him, regardless? You, I, I don't know. I don't. I mean, can but, you? Imagine? But but. <laughs> The way I know that, the way I think that M7 is a chess player, yeah. I would not be surprised he'll if he's putting he'll, Yeah, he'll play. He'll play the parts to make sure that maybe the guy if comes. If he thinks that Trump is important in the general scheme of things. Yeah. But I think America, you can't avoid them. They're important. Yeah, you can't yeah, do yeah, anything yeah, almost yeah. without yeah, yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. So hey, they're who they are. They're the most powerful nation. So we have to play around with them. But are we shit all countries? I don't think so. No. Well, many people will say and claim that we are because of the actions and how we behave. The way we sort of carry ourselves. You know, because of the corruption, the vast amounts of blatant corruption in Africa and African countries, the way we uh, 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 sort of have all these vast amounts of wealth, but yet it is wasted. We we constantly asking for aid, and yet we have a lot that we can carry on as a country within Africa and relate. Uh, sorry, and depend on each other. We depend on outside countries. I agree. Uh, is is Africa perfect? No. Are we better than we are? Are we in a worse place than we should be? Yes. Are we shithole? No. A part of us shithole? Yes. Do we shit in the hole? Yes. But that doesn't make us all 
as a nation, shithole. Holy shit. No. <laughs> Norway is better there. Huh? I agree. He wants people only from Norway to go there. Yeah. I guarantee you Norway is a far better state than... The, where, where are you? Norway is far better than America, for the record. So Norway has no business coming to America. Mm, mm, None mm. whatsoever. Mm, In fact, mm. Americans need to go to Norway. No way. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> So really, I mean, it's, it's, it's his perception yeah, of what, yeah. how he sees the world yeah, yeah. and he's entitled to it. So yeah. I, I don't put too much sense into it. But the issue is, uh, yes, in Africa, we have many problems. We have a lot of work to do. We have, uh, yes, but yes. that should not mean that because Donald Trump has said it, therefore it is the gospel truth. And therefore we need to quarrel. Yes, he needs to apologize because as a leader, you shouldn't be saying such statements, blah, 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 blah. Be politically correct. You're the free leader of the free world. But it's Donald Trump. He says what he wants when he wants, tweets even more things, worse things than that. So again, what are you going to do about it? He is who he is. I guess so. Carol Munang, your jolly, the, 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 our new lady. I know you call Carol. Mm. I'm going to go shit in the hole. Is that really necessary to you? Yeah, me, I've gone. This is foolish man. Another round, powered by Stanbic Bank.